Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all. Welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. For those of y'all that have never seen one of my videos, um, this is your June tarot forecast. This video is for my water sisters and brothers, the Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying doesn't resonate with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I will have linked down below in the description box, okay? This is going to be your typical four-card spread, looking at the overall energy for the month of June for you or the energy that you need to be tapping into for this month, Scorpio. Any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing over the next month. And because we're dealing with Gemini energy for most of June, we'll be looking at where you need to have some fun, live a little life. And then as always, a little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread, okay? So with this deck, we're going to be looking at uh, the overall energy or the energy that you need to be tapping into, okay, Scorpio? the deck there you've got friendship for the month of June um, I think Leo might have gotten that too possibly I'm gonna go on and pull your next two cards so we can get some clarification and see why that card is popping up for you guys specifically during this month um, with this deck we will be looking at any challenges or obstacles you might be facing during June and then also where you need to tap into some of that Gemini energy and have some fun. YOLO or whatever. live over there <laughs> we got the chariot as your crossing energy for the month of June <clears throat> excuse me and then you've got death <laughs> in regards to where you need to have some fun okay so let's let's talk Scorpio <laughs> let's, let's have a conversation so um, do not be alarmed, even though I know the images on those cards might seem a little scary. Uh, the messages for you during this month of June actually just really are coming in with this strong energy of cycles changing for you, and more so you moving away from cycles as opposed to really coming into new ones. This is a time for you to kind of wrap shit up, okay? Um, the first card that you've got popping up in this spread is friendship. And the first thing I will say is that it carries the numerical energy of the number 17, which breaks down into eight. So we're talking all about coming into new spaces and learning the truth about things or learning the truth about yourself and about your energy and then coming into new cycles, new karma. Um, eight resonates with the number, the number infinity, right? Um, with this being the friendship card, this could be very literal. This could point to, you know, some big changes, some big occurrences popping up in your friendships or some some major conversations popping up for you but this could also this energy could also just point to what you are emotionally connected to or invested in so it's not just friends it could be relationships in your family it could be your romantic or uh, you know partnership or intimate relationship it could be your relationship with your job it could be your relationship with your a particular perspective on certain things so just keep in mind that this friendship energy is lent to it can be very general but it can also point to people and for you guys what i'm looking at with the cards right now during this month i just get the sense that scorpio you're having some shift in perspective you are <clears throat> really thinking about things 
doing a lot of reflecting and correcting because we are right in the middle or right at the beginning of the retrograde cluster so there's a lot of things happening for you on a higher level a lot of changes a lot of thoughts that are coming in for you and a lot of thoughts that are also leaving so you're getting ready to remove your energy detach your cords from certain things and move into new things and you're right now during the month of june you're in the position of preparing to do that and actually starting the work okay and that's all i'm going to say about that friendship card right there i want to get <clears throat> a little bit further into your spread and talk to y'all about your crossing position you've got the chariot card here now the chariot typically carries an energy of this person that has done a lot of a lot of hard work has been on a motherfucking journey okay but they stay strong they keep on trucking they all the crazy shit all the wild shit all the negative shit they charge it to the game and they come out on top they come out stronger than ever and they come out you know holding themselves down this is in your crossing position so what this does tell me especially crossing friendship some of you scorpios and especially being water i'm a water sign myself i'm a cancer being water we tend to and it's sad to say we tend to pour a lot more into our relationships and our friendships and the things that we're emotionally invested in than other people do a lot of times our energy is not reciprocated and sometimes it's because people don't even know how to match it to be completely honest but the reality of it is sometimes we put in a lot more than what is given back to us and that can especially being water it puts you into this headspace to where you start to look at situations you start to look at things you start to look at people and it makes you feel sad it makes you feel angry it makes you feel away because you're like well i'm doing all this i'm putting my heart here and this is what is being done to me or this is what's not being done for me um so Put you in a space to where you're down on you start to question like well why why are things like this i'm doing everything that i can why are things transpiring like this but with that being said this is crossing the friendship card so this does tell me you're moving out of spaces to where your positive energy your zen your happiness is being compromised by way of what you're putting into other people in other situations now if you watch my videos, you know I do talk a lot about turning these crossing cards into upright positions and supporting the energies that are coming in for you. And the chariot is a card that you do not need in a crossing position. You don't, you don't need to be down on yourself. You don't need to play the victim. You do not need to feel pity. You need to tap into the strength that comes with this chariot card and say, okay, this is what I need to clean up here in my relationships. These are the cords that I need to cut. These are the situations that I need to move away from. This is where I need to remove my energy because I've got shit to do. I've got places to be. I've got things to see. I've got you. Listen, I got a whole life to live. They just let us out the house. I know it's a lot of wild shit going on. And listen, I am so down for how we have responded to this condition continuous racial injustice finally but um you know you're in a space to where you're like I don't have time to be doing what I used to do or be dealing with the shit that I used to be dealing with because my energy is not in alignment with this anymore my energy is now here my energy has progressed it has ascended into this space and this is what I'm doing now and I'm sorry but at this time you or this situation is considered baggage and I can't carry it with me into the next chapter so you know it is what it is Scorpio you guys are very real you're very honest I don't think you feel bad about that at all and I would suggest that if you do that you shouldn't okay um, <clears throat> next card that I want to talk to you guys about is in the position where you need to have some fun and you've got the death card here so I know that sounds crazy but when we pull the death card in tarot it does not well the way that i read because i don't read like that it's not pointing to literal death this card popping up is pointing to cycles ending and what have i been talking about for the past six seven minutes are your cycles ending you detaching your cords you're removing your energy you're moving away from certain spaces you may be having a little bit of a hard time because of your emotional attachments but you've got to move yourself into more positive spaces in towards more positive people that help you progress and help you grow so this death card here coming up in the position of have a little fun is telling me my message to you scorpio is that you don't need to feel bad about the things that are ending about the chapters that you are closing do not carry or listen you're getting rid of baggage do not create new baggage behind getting rid of the baggage you don't want to carry that shit around with you you're getting rid of it for a reason why are you going to walk around feeling bad about it you got rid of it because you needed to you know what i'm saying 
so with that being said this death card popping up into where you need to live a little where you need to have some fun is do not feel bad for the things that you have to do in order for you to put yourself into a position to where you are living your best life scorpio okay and i know to the people around you especially because people are used to you giving your all that might sound a little harsh but uh you know tough shit i don't know what to tell you like you you know you gotta live you gotta live for yourself sometimes it is what it is Let's go on and get your next card here. Let me get some more of my smudge going on my coals. Shameless plug. I will have smudge blends available through my Etsy shop shortly. Um, they're not up yet because everywhere that I get herbs from, they're either out or not open yet. And I like to get herbs and like stones and things like that in, in person. I don't like to order those things off of the internet. Um, so yeah, I'll have a Zen blend. I'll have a spiritually strapped blend. And I will have a divinity blend available for um, smudge purposes, for cleansing your space, protecting protecting your space, um, healing and helping your energy. If you guys are interested, you'll be able to find that through my Etsy shop along with all of the other things that I offer, all the other products that I have. Shameless plug, there it is. Let's get y'all's last card <laughs> and let's tell y'all what your soul message is. This is just gonna be something additional for you to take away with you from this spread for the month of June, okay, Scorpio? deck last cutting of the deck for this spread let's see what is your soul message scorpio you've got all that glitters Ooh, this one this makes sense so scorpio especially because i was we were talking about you having like these emotional and uh, attachments these cords this not really wanting to having a hard time moving away from these situations and feeling bad um understand that no matter how much you want something to change how much you want and especially if it's other people or other energies involved if the work is not done on that end there's no way that you can get to this this fantasy that you have about these energies okay so all that glitters is not gold scorpio and you just have to understand that and this just tells me that you know some of you may have been putting this like false this facade on certain energies it's like band-aid on certain things and it's it's time to rip it off because scorpio you got some life to live by way of removing yourself from previous situations previous energies and it's okay because that is what you were being called to do right now all right that's literally the only message that i have for this card that's, that's all that i have for you that's all i want to tell you guys about that card that is your spread <laughs> i hope that it found you well if you feel like you need your own personal reading feel free to book one with me again my etsy shop is linked down below because we are in eclipse season now and we are right in the middle of the retrograde cluster i will be having a retrograde reading sale and an eclipse reading sale i need something to drink mouth is dry cotton mouth and yes i am drinking a white claw because i'm grown and it's nice outside even though it's a little overcast it's a little cloudy um so yeah etsy shop is down there check out my gemini new moon gemini lunar cycle video we're dealing with that energy for the next month i also have the june pick a card tarot spread up as well i'll have the sagittarius full moon lunar eclipse video going up shortly and then i also have a link to the playlist on all of the current retrogrades down in the description box too those are all of my plugs thank you guys so much for tuning in to my people please stay safe i stand with you i love you it is time for the revolution to everyone else and my people thank you for watching i will catch y'all next time peace